Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside, you hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. For the love of God! There's still time for you to run, old man. Hold oh, now! I'll bed y'all down. I'm back to What on earth? Wait, you are no bastard to leave it here alone. You best get that gun ready, old man. Come on, old man. I'm gonna need you to help me hold him off. What the heck do they want? None of you bastards are leaving here alive! Get off our land! Stay away from my family! More coming. Go check on your family, boy. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. You got a problem with me? Problem with me, crook. Uncle, are you all right? Damn it. I'm 
a hit. You're all coward. This can't be happening. Time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <laughs> take them and <coughs> don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No, Uncle, please. Oh my God, they killed him. Come on, son. Ain't nothing we can do for him now. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Hey, 
Come on. Now listen. Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! <laughs> Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Bury me not on the lone prairie where the coyotes wail and the wind blows free. And when I die, don't bury me neath the western sky on the lone prairie.